The support class in Battlefield 2042 is probably the class we ever wanted in a Battlefield game. And the reason for that is the topic of today's video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back and let's go with another Battlefield 2042 beta video. And today I want to show you the support class and why this class is so, so good. It's probably the best class and I want to show you why. As always, feel free to grab any drink you like. If you are new to this Inside FPS channel, we are here to improve your gameplay experience. Enjoy your time and let's go. So I want to show you the basics of the support class. The standard gadget from the support class is that you can revive your squad mates, of course, and every other player to the maximum health. So the defibrillator is no, is not an extra gadget with you, which you have to pick. It's like the basic gadget from your class, and you have the healing or a healing pistol, which can boost yourself if you hold down the three on your keypad, or you can. Um, boost the health from your uh, from your from your allies over a distance, which has an area of effect. You don't have to hit your ally directly. You, it's, it's enough if you shoot on the ground nearby your ally. But that's not the reason why the support class is so good in Battlefield 2042. With every class, you can choose between several gadgets like the C5 and and that's very important the ammo crate. So right now you can play the sniper, the recon class with an LMG and you can pick the ammo crate. And that's why it's so good with the support class. You can heal your teammates, you can pick the ammo crate and you can heal yourself and you can revive, of course. For sure you can pick a different class and you can choose the medical package. That's also possible, but you have the defibrillator, you can heal yourself and your allies, which is your basic gadget, as I said, and you can pick between several gadgets like armor, more armor, and the IBA plates and the ammo crates, so you don't need to grab any extra ammo. You are completely, you can play for your own, and you are if you don't need that ammo because you can pick up some ammo on the ground from the, from the opponents, you can choose the IBA plates, and that's why this class is so powerful in your squad, and you are, you are one key factor to a level fast, because if you stay with your squad, if you play in your small group, you get more and more points. But the point and the ranking system is a topic for, for the final version of Battle for 2042. On top of that, you can choose between every weapon. And I would recommend three of them. The first one is the M5. The M5 is a great all-rounder. I made a video. I have linked that video to you. And the two other weapons are a surprise to you. The first one is the LMG. 100 rounds. It plays like an assault rifle and the attachment, attachments are pretty, pretty good. You, do, you deal a lot of damage if you choose the AP rounds against some um, light choppers and all of that. But the other weapon is the K30, the Vector. The K30 is amazing. It deals a lot of damage over a short time period. You have a lot of CQB um, situations, even on the map Orbital, and you have over 40 rounds in your magazine. The K30, the Vector, is amazing. I had one of the best experience with the LMG and the K30 in Battlefield so far. That's why I would really recommend play those weapons and you can choose these kinds for your support class, which is amazing. Of course, you could play a sniper, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think the sniper class or the sniper rifles right now ain't not so good so far. So pick the Vector, pick the Vector. I will do a video about it and LMG. Of course, and if you're interested in my first round with the M5, check the video as well. So, with the support class, you are highly flexible, you are a big key factor in your squad, or if you're a little bit more like a solo player, you can choose the support class as well, because you can heal yourself, and if you have a, a friend or so, you can revive him if you want, and you have always this basic option to heal yourself, which is key in my opinion. Or if you try to push uh, as in a certain situation, you can heal your opponents. Of course, other classes are also very, very nice and we will check them out later on. But I think the support class is the best class because you can, as I mentioned, heal yourself and give yourself ammunition. So you are, you are good to go on your own. If you have any questions about the support class so far, please feel free to uh, write a comment in the comment section below and I will show you the different classes as well, of course. That's so the first look from the beta. I think it's a great class and some great options in Battlefield 2042 so far. But I'm really interested. What do you think about Battlefield? Uh, what do you think about the beta? 
leave a comment as well. And as always, we Germans want to win at least something that's very important for us. So your like is very, very, very welcome. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps out. And as always, stay safe and see you in the next video.